All right, everyone, we are in Oceanside, California. We're told it's a laid back beach town. I don't know. <laughs> there are a lot of cars out here for it's, it to be yeah. laid back. It's kind of a zoo. <laughs> Anyway, we're driving up to our hotel. We're gonna show you that first. This video is gonna be a little different. Uh, we're gonna take a three vacation days, let's say. And uh, of course, we'll show you everything here in Oceanside, but in a more relaxed manner, if you will. I will give you the details of the town, that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's the Pacific Ocean right there. So uh, our hotel, Looks out over it. We're almost to the hotel. In fact, the hotel is right there. Um, I really hope we get an ocean view. Yeah, I hope we get an ocean, ocean view as well. It's hard to say. Uh, anyway, uh, we're basically almost halfway between Los Angeles and uh, San Diego. This is technically a San Diego suburb. Uh, looks like uh, a pretty upscale town so far. We're seeing it for the first time, just like you are as I show you it on the camera. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna pull up to the, or we are pulling up to the hotel. Oh, yep, there it is. Club, yeah, this, Club Wyndham. Yeah, it's, yeah, this is the hotel here. Yeah, what's it called? Seaside Pier, yeah. It says Club Wyndham Ocean, Oceanside Pier. Resort. Oceanside Pier, yeah. So this is the hotel. Give you a look at it. You can see a pool deck up there above the uh, sign. See, I want one of those balconies. Yeah. We have to be in one of those in one of those rooms. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's the hotel. Now the trick is going to be finding <laughs> a place to park. <laughs> And uh, that might be difficult. Next up, we'll show you the room and we'll go from there. <laughs> well, it took a few minutes, but we finally found a place to park. And uh, we're going to go check in. There's the lobby right here. Following the wife, letting her lead the way. All right, we have checked in, and parking is underground. Ooh. Underneath the hotel. Ew. Yeah, I like it that way better. Creepy. It's a lot easier. It's so we can just check in. Hmm. Or I'm, not, not, sorry, I'm sorry, not check in. We can just park and the elevators will be down here and it's just easy to get everything up to the um, up to the room. Ooh. So we're going to find parking now. Ooh, and then we're going to go up to the room and we will show you what that looks like. Which as soon as we get there. Which we haven't seen yet. Which we haven't seen I'm yet. excited to see. So when we see it, and somebody didn't put their seatbelt on. I think that's you, honey. So we're here. Uh, we use wristbands here. Here, show them how it works, honey. I don't know. There you go. And the door opens. We're in 411. Uh, we booked a suite. Why don't you hold on this one? And grab them. Okay, never mind. Right. Never mind. We'll just go back for it. Yeah, so we booked a suite. Room looks pretty big already. Wow. I knew it would be because yeah, because the yeah. sharing aspect to it. Yeah, it's a full kitchen, even even has an oven. We can invite people over for a party. Yeah. Party. Wow, dining room table, couch, uh, balcony. Yay! Let's see what it sees. There's a TV in here. Yeah, it has a balcony, which uh. you can't figure out how to open. All right, so I have got this figured out, got the door opened. Here's our view. There's the ocean, the Pacific, and a uh, good view of the uh, pool deck. Oh, wow. The swimming pool and the hot tub over here. Uh, we are, on, are in the North Tower. That's the South Tower. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, really nice. All right, so this is the bedroom. I can see that. And uh, bathroom. The it's bathroom. A jacuzzi tub in there. Yeah, it has a jacuzzi tub. Oh, There's yeah. a sink. I'm gonna be in that jacuzzi 
tub and... and it's got a separate shower. So it's got a tub and a shower. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'm just trying to see what you I saw you found a laundry room, right? Yeah. It has a laundry room. We actually need to do laundry. Yeah. That's going to uh, save us some time from, you know, having to go to a hotel laundromat. Yep. That is cool. I can throw that in whenever I'm doing anything. All right. Cool. So there's the room. We're going to check out some of the amenities. First of all, the... My favorite part of every hotel. Yeah, the gym. Yeah. Looks like they've got a lot of stuff here. But they, they don't have the accessible but they've got all these... Yeah. And they got a bench. Looks out over the pool. Is there weights? Yeah, they got weights and another bench over here. Yeah, so they got everything we need. Alright. Oh wow, doors open for us. Now right, we're gonna check out the pool deck. And the hot tub over there. We will be hanging out in both places. And uh, let's go see the view. So we got a view of the famous pier right there and then there's the pool which I just showed you from our room. Yeah, see how warm it is. It's not that warm. That's okay. We'll get in a we'll, we'll get in a hot tub. All right, everybody. It's the next morning. Wifey and I went out last night and had a drink or two. <laughs> Feeling a little under the weather this morning, but I'll be okay. There's our hotel right there. Uh, there's the uh, Pacific Ocean. You see that pier there? Uh, the Oceanside Pier. One of the landmarks in town. It is the longest pier on the West Coast. Lots of stuff happening there. Today is Sunday, uh, February 19th. It's about 9 a.m. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, sunny, no wind. It's about 60. I'm sorry, about 50 right now, but it's going to get up into the 60s today. So I'm going to wander around here a little bit, tell you about the city. Uh, I am going to go down there right now and see if I can get a drone shot. What do you think? So we can check out the uh, city from the air. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the town as a, as a wander down there. So let me hit these steps and go down to the beach. What do you think? Well, as I make my way down to the beach, I'm gonna tell you about the town. Oh, somebody was having a good time last night. Anyway, uh, Oceanside's pretty big, 173,000 people. I would give you a metro number, but Oceanside is actually a metro city. It is in the metropolitan area of San Diego. Now, San Diego is 35 miles south. Los Angeles is 80 miles north. So you can get to either city in a fairly short amount of time, uh, and that's got to be pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's see, I want to make my way over to the beach here, give you another look at this pier. Now, the Europeans got here in 1769, started developing the area. The Spanish in the late 1800s built Mission San Luis Rey, really amazing place. I'm going to try to go see that here in a bit. One of the landmarks of the city. In addition to this, this huge pier, they call this a uh, beach town. It's a vacation destination. Totally is. Lots of people here. Uh, it's beautiful and the weather is so nice right now. A lot of cool architecture here. I'm going to try to look at some of it. Um, anyway, right now I'm just giving you views. Pretty sweet, huh? What I'm going to do now is uh, get the drone up in the air. So let's check that. We'll check that out next.
there's the Pacific Ocean right there. I'm going to head into downtown and give you a look. Tell you about the place when I get there. Can't beat this hotel. It's a uh, walking distance to downtown. Uh, you can see how beautiful this area is. I've got a walkway that goes underneath the street here. <laughs> Caught my eye and my ear because you can hear the classical music playing, right? That's pretty cool. Ah, relaxing. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, downtown's right up here. Let's get there. And uh, we'll talk some more then. There's some museums here, by the way. There's the California Surf Museum. Let's see, gonna look around a bit. I'll tell you about the town. Uh, the per capita income here yearly is 38,000, a little over. Median household income is 81,000. That is uh, above the national average. Um, median home value is $640,000. Uh, there's a lot of million dollar houses here though. I looked uh, looked on Zillow just for fun. Um, let's see. Most of the numbers are pretty close to the US average though. High school graduates, uh, 86%. Uh, the gender breakdown is 50-50. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. The race breakdown, 44% white, 37% Hispanic, 7.6% uh, Asian, 4.7% black, the rest is other. Beautiful old theater there, and it is in operation, which is always good news. Now check out the uh, cool mural too, that's pretty awesome. I love seeing this. That is Oceanside City Hall and the public library right next to it. It's beautiful. Art Deco, I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Maybe some Adobe influences, if there is such a thing. A couple other numbers real quick. Uh, poverty rate is around 6%, uh, which is pretty low. And Crime. Crime is low as well. 24 per 1,000 people. That's below the U.S. average of 39 per 1,000 people. Now there's a church over there. Got to go take a look at that. And there's also another theater over here. Let's go take a look at that as well. Look at that beauty. Sunshine Brooks Theater, built in 1936. For a while in the 80s, it was an adult theater, <laughs> but it has since been rescued from that. Uh, now it's live theater, looks like film too. Named after Hattie Sunshine Brooks, who owned the building and donated it so that it could uh, become what it is now. A landmark and work of art. It's beautiful. This beautiful building is St. Mary's Star of the Sea, Catholic Parish, built in 1927. Absolutely beautiful. I want to get this angle first because of where the sun is shining. Uh, but I'm going to go around to the front and give you a look there. It's a gorgeous building. It is Sunday, so it sounds like they're having services. I'm going to give you a look at the building anyway. The facade here. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and there are uh, yeah, services going on there. Awesome. One tell the inside is beautiful. This is the oldest post office here in Oceanside. It was built in, what was it, 1935? 1936? Uh, the architecture is what they call New Deal. 
uh, because it was designed during Roosevelt's New Deal era uh, and it was about efficiency in design. I really wanted to see the inside of this but alas today is Sunday. I was going to go tomorrow Monday but tomorrow is President's Day so I am thwarted because there's a piece of art in there I want to see called airmail but there's a second one here see that the uh, eagle there it's a wood carving uh, by Stuart Holmes and that was commissioned by the Treasury Department of Fine Arts during the New Deal era uh, during that time the government attempted to keep artists busy with a source of income so that's what that department was for it would commission art from artists. A great painting on the inside, but alas, can't see it. So, I tried, guys. Anyway, I did want to see the uh, post office. Uh, that New Deal architecture is really interesting. Well, I'm making my way back down Pier View Way. Uh, if you stay on this street, it takes you right out on the pier. Uh, that's our hotel right there, directly in the middle of frame. As I make my way back to the hotel, I'm uh, taking this underpass. Got some stuff scrawled here. Smoking coke ain't no joke. Makes you broke, tied to the yoke. You'll croak without hope, unless you bless the darkness. Well, I don't think we, anybody can argue with that. Well, it's uh, early afternoon. I've got the uh, wifey with me. It's gotten a lot busier. Am I right? Well, I don't know. This is the first time I've been down here, so. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't very many people here this morning when I came. But, uh, yeah, getting lots of people now. Music? Huh? And music? Yep, and music and dogs <laughs> dogs all over uh, yeah it's a cool place yeah we're just kind of wandering around a bit we're gonna go to a couple of local joints and have a snack and a drink uh, we're gonna go up on this pier first though and uh, get a good look up there the sun's going away though yeah it's starting to get cloudy it's beautiful this morning when I was out. It makes all the difference. Huh? It makes all the difference. Yeah, definitely a little bit cooler. I when we come to these beach towns and I really want it to be summer and it's no, it's still cold. This is not cold, but it's definitely cooled off. Anyway, it's quite beautiful though from out here. Give you a shot of the town. Uh, we are heading to the Top Gun house real quick first. Here's a shot of the beach. Even though it's becoming overcast, still lots of people here. On this Sunday. All right, this house is from the movie Top Gun, the first one. And this is the bike that Tom Cruise rode in the movie. Uh, they took the house apart and moved it here. And now it's a pie shop. Let's see what it says here. Built in 1887, vacation home. It's the oceanfront Queen Anne Cottage. It's now recognized as the last best existing such house in San Diego County. The house is best known by most people as the Top Gun House because of its prominent role in the movie of the same name. Scenes between Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis were filmed here in 85 for the movie that was released in 86. It's fully restored and they moved it here. So there you go. It's real small. Yeah. I always thought of it was a lot bigger than this. It looks like there might be four rooms. You want to go in? It's a pie shop, but yeah. All right, let's go in. Let's go check it out. I don't think it looks like the house anymore. Yeah, it's just, it's a pie shop. Yeah, it doesn't look like what it did in the movie. So there, there's that. Yeah, there's a cow head in here. I bumped my head on it wife got a real laugh out of that. We're at the Haunted Head Saloon. We're gonna go have one drink. They don't serve food. 
So uh, we're just gonna have one for now. We might be back. And we're gonna check this place out. Haunted. Wow, they got a good good business going on already. Yeah, cool place. A bunch of dollar bills. Awesome. I'm checking out some of the decorations here in this bar. We are going to go to Craft Coast Beer and Tacos next. And I got a sweat jacket so I don't have to be chilly. Yes, wife just got herself a new jacket. It says, it says Oceanside, California. So she can prove that we have been here. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go have a taco and a drink. It's called Narler. It's made right here, 12%. It's an ass kicker. You're gonna be drunk. I won't be drunk, but I'll be feeling it. Then I'm gonna have to carry you home. Maybe, but we are walking, <laughs> or you're carrying me because the hotel is just across the street. But anyway, you're having uh, wine. Yes, I am. And uh, we can see the kitchen from here. See them make our food. Good. Woohoo! Sure they're not gonna spit in it. Yeah, keep an eye on these guys. Make sure they make our food good. It looks good though. It might spit in yours. Anyway, we ordered one taco each because we're just going to snack at these different places. Our snacks are here. I'm having a beef taco. Just a good old fashioned beef taco. Oh, yours is like a fried. Is it? Yeah, mine's not. Mine's soft. Yeah, it is crispy fried, isn't it? Yeah. Good. And you just got an old school tortilla. Mexican. Yeah. Carne asada. That's what you have. Carne asada, but I took off the guacamole. Cool. Sorry. You look good. Well, mine is really good. How about yours, honey? Very, very good. You roll it up. A lot of meat. A lot of meat? Mm-hmm. It's a mouthful, huh? Good. Good. Yes. Cool. So I know it's good. The more meat, the better it is. That's true. <laughs> okay, that was uh, yummy. Hit the spot. But we need more food and more drinks. But at a different place. But it's uh, getting really lively here. This Sunday in Oceanside, California. We're at the lab now. This ultra high tech, ultra modern place here. You can see them cooking the food in this big window. And uh, the server's waiting for their food at the expo line. This place looks really cool though. And here's Wifey. Did you order our drinks? Oh my god, you failed. Uh, my Philadelphia born wife says this pretzel is phenomenal. It's so not Philadelphia, but it's very, very good. And you don't even need mustard or anything with it. No, it's amazing. You always have mustard with your pretzel. Not this time. Yellow mustard. Regular yellow mustard. Yes. Regular yellow, because you're a purist. Right? Of course. That's mustard. No idea what kind of mustard that is, but that's mustard. But you don't need it. That's what you're saying. I'm not into the really spicy mustards as much as I it's love not spicy. spicy and I love mustard. It's just fancy, fancy mustard. Too fancy for you though. <laughs> You're a blue collar Philadelphia girl, daughter of a police officer. <laughs> and this pretzel to you doesn't need anything. All right. Well, I'm having it with the beer cheese. It tastes good to me like that. Oh, come on. You can't have cheese sauce with it. Oh, yeah. That's just wrong. I'm not a purist. I'm from Texas. That tastes you from We Texas that don't eat. From Pretzels. That takes you from blue collar? Uh, I hear what you're saying, but I just want to establish that at Pat's King of Steaks, birthplace, birthplace of the cheese steak, they use cheese whiz. You know, when we went to Pat's King of Steaks, they asked us if we want cheese whiz. Cheese whiz! I'm sorry. All right. Zoltar. Like I'm back in if Zoltar steals your dollar, please let us know. Oh. I really do. Do you want to uh, have Zoltar? Your fortune is mine for the telling just... and yours for the hearing. I wish Come I were let big. Zoltar tell you more. Do you want well, Zoltar? That's what my husband wishes. Oh. What? I didn't hear what you said. That's probably good. Check out this guy as cream blares in the background. Covered in one dollar bills, this pirate. Cool. Wifey is having her drink. Alright, we just added our contribution to all the dollar bills hanging. 
Lord Spoda and the wifey Nicole, 2023. So if you come to this bar in Oceanside, California, be sure and say that you saw it. It's in this part of the bar, kind of at the end. Yeah, what do you think? Huh? This is the Mission San Luis Rey, one of the landmarks of the city of Oceanside. This was built by the Spanish in 1815, and uh, it is the largest mission, as I understand it. Ah, oh, just in time. How awesome is that, to hear the bells ring. I'll just let, a, let you listen to them as I walk to it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, look at that. That is fantastic. Let's see what the inside looks like. Welcome. Oh, this place is absolutely beautiful. There's a doorway into another, looks like a room. Wow, what is this? side over there. Yeah, look at the uh, paint on the walls here. Uh, looks like there's a courtyard out here. Uh, it's a cemetery. Apparently. Or graveyard. There's a grave here with um, some flowers as, as usual, but <laughs> how cool they got a couple of beers too. I like that. Uh, here's a sad one. 
Mary A. Dallin, born Los Angeles, May 24, 1887, died April 6, 1893, aged 5 years, 10 months. Let's see some more of the grounds over here. Wow, look at this. Looks like the, uh, wow, they have some stuff growing here. Anyway, you gotta see this right here. Wow, that's something, isn't it? Zoom in just a little. That is amazing. This is pretty incredible. Yeah, it is so beautiful. It is definitely worth the trip if you come to uh, Oceanside. Okay, it's our last night here. We had a nice time here. Yep, we had a nice time. In Oceanside, California. Want to come back when it's warm. Oh wait, it doesn't get that warm here, does it? I think it's up in the uh, 70s in the summer, maybe 80. It's crazy to me to be at like a beach community and that's all it gets to. I don't know. Well, like, I, need, I need 80s at least. For some people that's plenty warm. Uh, about the hotel, what do we think of the hotel overall? Sort of a kind of review? Uh, overall, I really liked it. Overall, I, yeah, overall it was really good. It was great. And yeah. It was great. I actually wish we had a little more time here, you know? Went by very quickly. Yeah, another, another visit perhaps later. Um, it's pretty moderately priced, $2.50 a night, just so you know if you're wondering. Uh, $2.50 a night, it's which is not bad in the summer. Off huh? This is off season. Yeah, and it's the off season though. It's going to be a lot more than that in the summer. But if you come this time of year, it's at 250 nights, not bad. Now we start trekking back to Dallas. And then after Dallas, we'll be heading up to uh, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. So, uh, it's going to be cold. But anyway, uh, before that though, we will be making a stop in Texas and doing a video there. I'm going to do a little small town video uh, in Texas. Anyway. So that's the end of this video. See you guys next time.